All right, and we are back again for a brand new episode of Another 24. <laughs> and now today I got a very, very special guest in the building. Now, this this guest, you know, she's she helping y'all out. If y'all hungry, you know what I'm saying, y'all need a good meal, y'all need something healthy, but, you know, not too, not too crazy, still seasoned, still tasting good, this is the person you're going to hit up. I got the one, the only chef jess in the building how you doing Period. what's up how you doing i'm you so good? excited to be here well i appreciate you pulling up appreciate you pulling up so first things first what you eat today so today i started off with some protein pasta so everybody knows if you don't know i'm on a fitness journey right now okay. so i'm literally cutting out carbs like mm -hmm. i love potatoes mm -hmm. i love pasta but I've recently found out there's protein pasta. So everything I've been making, like mm -hmm. with pasta wise, has been protein noodles. So I had some chicken pasta with protein noodles. I've been doing a vegan Alfredo sauce and mm. I've just been loving the journey I'm on. Really, what's what's protein pasta? How's that different? Than, I know regular pasta is bread, of course. But what's yeah. protein pasta? So that, um, the protein pasta eliminates all carbohydrates. So oh, okay. that's really what you need to like lose weight. Right. So I've been sticking to that. Mm -hmm. um, it literally tastes the same. So <laughs> I don't know. It's really no excuse on why yeah. you can't eat healthy. Okay. Yeah. You know, that's what they're going to say. It ain't going right. to taste as good. They're going to be like, what is protein? Right. <laughs> does it taste like the real pasta? No, yeah. it does. So <laughs> it's kind of like, like I had cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of like rice, but it's no carbs. So it's kind of like right, that. and so it tastes the same. It tastes the same, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So that's it. That's all you had today. Yep. Okay. I had that and then a smoothie for breakfast. But okay, yeah. got you, got you. So, where are you from again? I'm from New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now nah, it's making sense. Okay, yeah. that's where the food. Cause New Orleans is known for food. It is. Everything yeah. seasoned, right. Cajun, Creole. New we Orleans. literally have the best food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, New Orleans is up there for sure. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. So what made you, you know, start on this this path of becoming a chef and doing meal prep stuff like that? Did you just always love food? Or? So I've been cooking since I was eight years old. Literally, mm -hmm. my mom and dad would be at work. Mm -hmm. I'll be at home, and dinner would be like on the table when they when get home eight? from work. <laughs> yeah, eight. Like I start off with my easy bake oven. I'll be mm -hmm. locked up in my room, mm -hmm. just pretending like I'm cooking all types of food. And then when I was able to like get on a stove, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I can do this. Right. Like I'm gonna cook whatever I want. Okay. <laughs> so. Did your did your family like your cooking at first? Were they like, ooh? Oh no, I've been beginning? like the food has been seasoned since it's eight. Since yeah. eight, okay, <laughs> okay. So, what did you did you always want to be a chef though? Did you ever have like other dreams to be anything else? I literally have always wanted to be a chef, and the crazy thing is, when I was like in middle school, I would be like, oh, I want to be a chef, mm -hmm. and I remember. Like one of my cousins was like, chefs don't make no money. Like, yeah. girl, right. now that I'm this age and I'm doing what I do, I'd be like, she was such a hater. Like, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're trying to kill your dream. Right. Dang. So I've just always loved cooking. Like when I'm in the kitchen, I be in my own zone. Mm -hmm. Like so, I just be in my own world when I'm cooking. So is cooking kind of therapeutic for you? Is it like Definitely an escape? therapeutic. It is. I have my music on. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing my meal prep orders and I'll just really just be zoned out cooking. Yeah. Okay. So, like, what's your favorite thing to cook? My favorite thing to cook is Caribbean food. Like, I love mm. making Jamaican jerk oxtails. Mm. I love making curry, shrimp, mm. curry You're talking chicken. talking that talk. Yeah, like, <laughs> I love Caribbean food. I love Mexican mm. food. Okay. Like, I love all that. Like, yeah. for holidays, mm. I'm never cooking, like, the traditional ham, the mm. turkey. I'm always cooking, like, food I want to eat, right, which is, right. like, Caribbean food. <laughs> okay, so how much time do you spend cooking, like, a day? Like, what's your, okay, what's your so, day look like? Um, my typical day starts off, I check and see what orders I have. Um, I actually just transitioned on January 1st. I only do um, orders on Sundays. Before, I was doing like 24-hour turnaround. So mm -hmm. if you order your meal prep before 11 a.m., you will get your food the next day. So oh, I recently right. just changed that because it was getting so hectic. Mm -hmm. So like now, I just check my orders. I see what I got to do for Sunday. Mm -hmm. Like, do I need to order some more containers, more bags? So right. that's what my everyday has been consisting of so this is like a real business like it's not just fun you got to be sounds like you have to be very organized definitely organized and it sounds like you have to do this all in a timely manner is mm -hmm. it just you do you have help doing this or? i do have help i have a friend that helps me with um checking emails see okay. um if they want to so i do offer 24 hours turnaround still but mm -hmm. it's just extra now so okay. If someone um, orders and say, hey, I want to get this order tomorrow, mm -hmm. you, you can get it tomorrow. It's just an additional mm -hmm. fee. So, okay, gotcha. but now I'm pushing everyone to get Sunday delivery. Right. So I could just be cooking on one day. Yeah. So you get the Sunday delivery and that's your meals for the whole week. Is that mm -hmm. how it works? For your whole week. Okay. So what kind of 
food does like do most of your clients kind of go for it? Because I know I'm sure you have a do you have a menu or do I do have a menu. So on my website, they kind of create their own bowls. So okay. like they choose their prote uh, protein, their carbs, their mm -hmm. veggies, mm -hmm. and then each meal is customized. Because you know I don't really like eating the same thing every day. So right. I figure everyone else don't want to eat yeah. the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. So I let them like mix and match. They get to choose up to three proteins, three carbs, three veggies, and then I'll just create different meals from what they choose. Got you, got you. That's pretty dope. That's yeah. pretty dope. Like, how long did it take you to kind of get this system to a point where it sounds like it's automatic now? So it took me maybe like, uh, so I originally started during COVID. Like I mm -hmm. was cooking on Instagram. I started <laughs> posting my meals and mm -hmm. then I was cooking for my friends. Right. And so then other people started saying, hey, can you meal prep for me? So then I kind of like turned it into a business. Mm -hmm. I actually started in the barbershop. So like oh, really? I would make like 80 meals a day and I would just go hit up the barbershops on oh, okay, um, Martin okay. Luther King Avenue. Mm -hmm. And I would just go stay there until I sell out. So right. then like once I started doing that, I was like, oh, I need to make this a business. Right, like, right. so then I really started taking Instagram serious and I started posting like reels on what mm -hmm. I cook and yeah. then it just kind of took yeah, off from kinda there. Took off. Yeah, it seemed like you you popping for sure. Like it's, I, I see you. I be seeing your videos, and you make it fun. You make oh, yeah. it entertaining. You know, you Definitely be doing your thing. You be, you be doing your thing. So, I be seeing a lot of these meal prep accounts and these, mm -hmm. you know, these meal prep chefs. I guess mm -hmm. what they call. And I ain't gonna lie. Like some of them, it looks like all they do is just put some parsley. At the end of they, at the end of they, when they done cooking, mm -hmm. and they supposed to like set set themselves apart. Like, what do you think sets your food and your recipes apart from some of your, I guess, competitors? Okay, so I feel like my meals are separate from everyone else's meal prep mm -hmm. because it's so different. Like, I literally cook Cajun food. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people think you're supposed to eat just carrots, peas, <laughs> brown rice, uh -huh. some bland salmon. That is not the case. You can have some seasoned meal prep and still lose weight. Right, right. So I figure, like, I just literally cook the food how I would want to eat. Mm -hmm. I garnish to perfection. Right. It's a lot of meal prep people out here trying to garnish like me, but right. we're not going to go there. <laughs> but it's just really just, I just always stay true to myself. Yeah. Like, food is a passion for me. I love cooking. So I'm mm -hmm. always just thinking of different mm -hmm. ideas on like, how can I make my meal prep different? Like, mm -hmm. how can I keep people coming back from right, more? Right. And that's keeping it season. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I gotta have a season. You can't have no just bland food. Like yeah. that's the worst thing. I'm ever. gonna throw it in the trash. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so your, your clients, do most of your clients, like, are they looking to lose weight or do they just, are they looking for just a way to, you know, kind of have more time to themselves and not have to worry about that type of thing? Or is it more of like a diet thing, you think? That's crazy to ask that. Majority of the people I cook for are people that just need meals on the go. Oh, yeah. Which is perfect for me because, like, I'm not into, like, sizing, like, mm, macros. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. do you want something to eat or not? Right. So everybody I cook for, it'd be like, I just need, I don't have time to cook. I cook for a lady that she orders meals for her whole family. Like, mm -hmm. the crazy thing is she tells her husband she cooked it. But I'm like, it's what? okay, girl. You can tell him that. <laughs> like, tell him that. Keep coming. She really buys meal prep for the week. And uh -huh. she plates it on a plate. Like, she'll be sending me pictures like, hey, girl, look, I put it on a plate. Like, my husband what? thinks I cooked it. I was like, okay, girl. <laughs> oh, man. So she probably, she can't be doing that, man. Right. Look, <laughs> do what you got to do to feed your family. Uh, yeah, as long as you, as long as you paying. Right. <laughs> But dang, that's crazy. I, I would have, I would have never guessed that. You think he'll be mad if he found out? No, nah. he gonna want the meal still. Right. So he's gonna be like, Ooh, let's just keep this routine. What we got going on? <laughs> right. As long as he getting fed, him it don't matter. Right. right. But I do have some people that are like trying to lose weight, so I actually like measure their food for them. But yeah, on a normal basis, they just need some gourmet mm -hmm. home cooked meals. Okay. So you're from New Orleans, mm -hmm. of course. We talked about that. New Orleans has some of the best food. They do. Atlanta has pretty good food too, though. Now. Atlanta has good wings. Good wings. That's it's a it. wing place on every corner. It is. <laughs> it is. So, what do you think are the main differences between like Atlanta food, New Orleans food, and which one do you like better? Of course, I guess New Orleans. Food. I just feel like New Orleans food is cooked with love. Like mm. when we're in the kitchen cooking, we y'all gonna feel whatever energy mm -hmm. we give. I ain't gonna lie. I went to New Orleans one time. I can't remember. What, this was. I can't remember the name of the place. It was a while ago, but mm -hmm. I got. Chicken and waffles, right? That was the best chicken and waffles I ever had. Because they had some of that, that syrup that was spicy, mm -hmm. but it was still sweet. I was like, oh, my it's God. It's a secret. They put rum in our syrup. Y'all put rum in it? Mm -hmm. So I be trying to get people drunk. And that's another thing. Y'all drink all the time, too. Oh, yeah. In so y'all be needing some good food to kind of, you know, keep y'all from getting too drunk. In high school, we were skipping school to go to Bourbon Street. Like, they don't ID at all oh, out bad. there. 
If you're <laughs> yeah, tall, bet. and I was, I was pretty tall in high school, uh, so I can get away with a lot. For, yeah, because you can go through a drive-thru and get a daiquiri. Like, that's oh, yeah. And the, and the crazy thing is, if you go through a drive-thru and get a daiquiri, as long if you put your straw in it and you flip it, mm -hmm. and you got pulled over, you won't get pulled, you won't get a ticket because your straw was flipped over in the cup. Uh, so which is so crazy to that me. That is but crazy. That rule is a rule. I like it. <laughs> okay, I mean, shit. I ain't going to, you know, I ain't going to knock it because I, I, love, I love New Orleans. Well, it's kind of spooky, I feel like, but that's what makes it. You Only because he's probably saying that because of voodoo. No, nah, it's not even because of the voodoo, though. I mean, I get it. Like, some people don't like that because it's spiritual or whatever. But mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just like a vibe when I get there. Even though I love New Orleans, especially mm -hmm. the food. But, yeah. So, it's definitely a vibe. It's definitely a vibe, yeah. Shout out to New, New Orleans, man. So who are your favorite, like, did you have any favorite chefs coming up? Any inspirations there? Like, Oh, yes, definitely. When I was younger, I would literally watch the Food Network channel, and mm -hmm. I used to watch Rachel Ray, <laughs> okay. and everything was 30-minute meals. So I uh -huh. feel like that's why I cook so fast, because mm -hmm. I've always watched her 30-minute meals. Like, she would cook a, a gourmet meal in 30 minutes. Dang, for real? Yeah. Was it really 30 minutes, or was it TV 30 minutes? That's the thing. <laughs> was it 30 minutes? Right, maybe, maybe not. So Rachel Ray, what about these guys like, um, what's the Hell's Kitchen dude? What's his name? I'm not familiar with Hell's Kitchen, but I used to watch Bobby Flay, Bobby like Flay. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Oh yeah, I used to watch him. Like, I used to live on the Food Network, like literally. Would you ever consider going on one of these uh, food cooking competition shows? Like oh one of those yeah, definitely, shows? and I would shut it down every time. For, <laughs> which, ones, which ones do you watch? You, you have uh, so favorites? I watch Chopped. I really want to get on chop. Like okay. I feel like that's like up my alley. Like you can have fun. Like they be having fun cooking. It's uh -huh. entertainment. Yeah. I really like bringing entertainment to food. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, my grandma, she be watching um, the bacon show. One of these bacon shows mm -hmm. where they if you if you don't bake good, they kick you out the show. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah, know what you're talking yeah, about. She yeah. be watching them, and I be like, dang man. See, I'm not really a baker, but mm -hmm. some meals mm -hmm. I'll cook that. Okay. Yeah. So how do you know? Like, do you, do you, what kind of science is it between, you know, behind cooking these meals? Like, do you have certain, you know, spices that go with certain other spices? Do you have certain drinks that go with meals? Like, I guess Italian food, you're supposed to drink wine with it and stuff like that. So when I'm seasoning food, I just stop seasoning and tell my good ancestors say stop sprinkling. For real. So, yeah, I'm, everybody asks me, how do you know how much mm -hmm. to put in here? I literally don't know how to answer that because I really just be cooking, mm -hmm. put a little garlic powder, a little Tony's. Yeah. Like, you, I just know when to stop. You just know. It's just, yeah. it's just in you. <laughs> it's in me. Okay. <laughs> All right. What are some, uh, some good advice for people that, you know, are trying to be a better cook? Like, what is some advice that you can give? Like, I, I feel like I cook pretty good for the most part. Mm -hmm. What do you cook? I mean, I be cooking, you know, I be doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? I be making, like, turkey burgers. I do the chicken breast, you know what I'm saying? I did some vegan chili. Um, what else? Vegan food is really good. I have a few clients that order vegan meals, and I be like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. <laughs> I might need to go vegan because really? I make a vegan pasta. I do, like, a vegan stir fry. Mm -hmm. yeah. I stir do, like, fry, a yeah. black bean bowl, um, sesame tofu. Like, the mm. sesame tofu literally tastes just like sesame chicken. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love sesame chicken. I ain't gonna lie. I love sesame chicken, too. I just don't know if I can get rid of, like, chicken wings. Like, mm. I love hot wings. Yeah. Lemon pepper all flat yeah. wet, period. Yeah, I love lemon pepper wings. Dang. But yeah, I think I'm a pretty good cook, but I mean, I don't know. I guess I could use some help. Like, do you follow a recipe? Like, do you follow a cookbook ever? Or do you just come up with your own? Seasoning? I just come up with my own. Really? Mm -hmm. You ever thought about coming up with a cookbook? So I have two cookbooks out right now. I have oh, um, two smoothie cookbooks that's on my website right now. Mm -hmm. And then I'm currently working on like a meal prep cookbook. Oh, okay, okay. So you got a smoothie cookbook, like. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, it's all ty different types of smoothie recipes. It's 50 uh, smoothie recipes. Oh, wow. So um, whatever fruit you can think of, mm -hmm. I have a recipe for. You got one for grapefruit? Sure do. For real? Grapefruit and honey. That'll get rid of all that belly fat. For real? Mm -hmm. yeah, I might need to, you know, hop on that. I love grapefruit. That's my favorite fruit. Really? Yeah. I have to, the only way I can eat a grapefruit is if I put it in a juicer. Like if I oh, ate yeah. it like an orange, yeah. I'll be like, <laughs> You gotta put some sugar it. on it. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of sugar on it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I might. I'm gonna have to look into your cookbook because I I be trying to do more smoothies and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I don't want to. You know. I don't want to be eating too much of that processed stuff. Yeah, I hate processed food. For real. Yeah. Like even fat. You don't eat fast food at all. Nothing? At all. Like. No? Chick fil A. Ugh. What? Zaxby's. Ugh. Oh my. Like gosh. I just feel like my food tastes better. Not even trying to like gloat, but yeah, I just. Yeah. I just like home cooked meals. Like yeah, yeah, the last time I had Chick Fil A, I had like a Chick Fil A salad, 
and the chicken tasted so processed. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, all this like antibiotics yeah. in it, like, oh. So you could tell the difference? Yeah, I definitely could tell the difference. Okay, do Between you a real chicken breast and really? processed, yeah. So do you think it's a huge difference between, I mean, I feel like it is, but I just want to hear your opinion because you're an mm -hmm. expert, but like, you go to Publix versus Kroger versus Sprouts versus Whole Foods. Like the meats and stuff, do you think it's a really a huge difference? It's definitely a huge, a huge difference. I only get my meat from Whole Foods. Okay. And it's all antibiotic free. Oh, uh, antibiotic. It's definitely a difference. So like, does that impact the cooking of it? Like, will it cook a different way? Will it not be as tender? Like, do you think it changes? So that? real food, like, so I get all my meat from Whole Foods. It's definitely a difference because when I'm cooking it and then when I'm slicing the chicken, you can feel like the tenderness, like it's real meat mm -hmm. versus like Kroger. Mm -hmm. It looks like artificial meat. Yeah. Like, that, like Kroger, y'all chicken be a little bit too cheap. Mm -mm. Like, and then, why can I get 10 chicken breasts for like $10? Like, right, that, like, like it just right. don't make sense. Something like, ain't right. Mm -mm. <laughs> So what about um? I, I, of course you're on your health thing, and mm -hmm. it sounds like you, you know, kind of gear your, your meals towards the more healthy side. But what about desserts? Like, what about that side of it? Do you ever like cook? Like you say you don't bake that much, but you mm -hmm. ever make like cakes or cupcakes or something? Something. No, in a I definitely don't do dessert at all. You don't do dessert. People ask me to bake and stuff. I just I rather cook. Like I'm not a baker. Really? Mm -mm. So you don't eat cakes either? You don't d eat dessert? I've never been a sweet person. Like, I don't yeah, even okay. like candy. So mm. I just, I just never, I'll eat some ice cream, like some plain vanilla Every ice cream. Really? That's about plain it. vanilla? Plain vanilla. I don't, I'm not a sweet eater. If I'm yeah. eating, it need to be some food. So you don't have, <laughs> what's your guilty pleasure? I know you got at least oh. one. Sunflower seeds, like mine is sunflower seeds. I My do. guilty pleasure is like, some fried chicken with some hot sauce. Really? Well, I love fried chicken and hot sauce. Who got the best fried chicken besides you? Uh, me. Besides like, you. Besides me, okay. I guess I guess you can't even answer because you don't even eat fast food like that. I don't. I'm really trying to think. Popeyes. I like American Deli hot wings. Okay. Popeyes. That's cool. I don't like Popeyes. What? Mm -mm. That's Louisiana. What's... Mm -mm. They food <laughs> process like For real? that's not no real chicken thigh you eating. Mm. <laughs> Damn. All right, Popeyes, what y'all got Popeyes. going on now? What y'all got going on? <laughs> so when you go to like, what's your favorite restaurant in Atlanta? If you can pick one, or top two or three. Uh, I love Jamaican food. So my favorite, I love mangoes. Okay. I yeah. love their oxtails, mm -hmm. the rice and peas. Mm -hmm. I love plantains, uh, smoked cabbage. Mm -hmm. Like that's really my guilty meal. Really? Mm -hmm. That's your cheat meal right there? That's my cheat meal. Like, if I'm gonna eat some red meat, it's gonna be some oxtails. Okay. <laughs> so when you go to, let's say, your favorite restaurant, Mangoes, <clears throat> and you, you know, you eat something on the menu, do you think you can just recreate it just by tasting it? Oh, all the time. Like, it's so crazy, because I'll be eating with my friend, and I'll be like, I do like this weird thing, like when I'm eating, I'll smell it. And then really? when I smell it, I can literally tell what seasoning is in it. Mm -hmm. And I just go home and make it again. Yeah. <laughs> so what about like all of these, you know, I'm not gonna say weird because that's not nice, mm -hmm. but like these interesting meals from other parts of the world, like people eating caviar, snails and octopus and stuff like that. Are those things, do those, you know, hearing about that, does that kind of put you off or do you, does it make you more interested? To want to hear Definitely more. Definitely more interested. I love eating octopus, like really? octopus tacos. What I does was it in, taste like? Really? It's so good. We, um, I went to Cabo last summer and mm -hmm. I had some octopus tacos mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my God. Like <laughs> at first I was kind of weirded out, but I just wanted to try octopus because I love calamari. That's like mm -hmm. the family of right. like the octopus. So right. I had some octopus tacos and the meat was so tender, mm -hmm. but I've learned I only like fried octopus. Mm, when okay. it's grilled, I feel like I'm eating a real octopus, mm -hmm. and I could just imagine like the tentacle, the tentacles, and right, yeah, mm -mm, fried. The thing about <laughs> octopus is they say it's like one of the smartest like sea animals. Mm -hmm. So I'd be feeling kind of bad, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel bad. It tastes good. It tastes good. <laughs> you don't care. You don't give a fuck. A little, right. <laughs> if they was that smart, they wouldn't be on your plate. Huh? The only thing I would feel bad about eating is a dog. <laughs> like, I but um, what is your favorite type of meat? Besides my, the besides chicken, because you would you know, chicken is up there. Okay, so it's crazy because my taste buds have recently changed. Like I used to love chicken, any type of chicken, fried, grilled, blackened, mm -hmm. air fried, baked. But mm -hmm. now I just all I want to eat is salmon. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? 
Is it the taste or is it? I don't know. It's because I started my fitness journey, and since I know uh, salmon is a natural fat burner, I'm like, okay, I need to eat a lot of this if I'm trying to get rid of my gut. Mm -hmm. So, I just be eating a lot of salmon. I really don't even eat chicken like that no more unless it's a hot wing. Really? If it's a hot wing, then. <laughs> hot wing, it's over with. It's over with. So, what are some like? What's a good tip? Like me, I eat a lot of chicken, especially mm -hmm. chicken breast, because mm -hmm. it's just easy. The meal prep is easy. Like no bones in it. Just yeah, yeah. I just like that you know, do it and just be done with it. Mm -hmm. So what are some tips you can give me on the perfect chicken breast? The perfect chicken breast for one should be seasoned and blackened. Okay. I love a Cajun type mm -hmm. of chicken breast. And you still want to have it juicy in the middle. So I hate overcooked chicken. When it's dry, that means the chef didn't do what it was supposed to do. Mm. You need to have a little juice in it. Okay. So can you, like, how do you do that? How do you keep it juicy? You just always check on it, whoever's cooking it, whether you're frying it or like grilling it, just always stick your little temperature mm -hmm. um, needle in it. That's what I then, need to get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would save you, like it would, your meat would taste so much better. For real. Cause what I used to do is, <clears throat> I used to, of course, season it, mm -hmm. I grill it and then bake it. Oh. And it'd be, it come out pretty, pretty good. You ever broil your meat? Mm-mm. I love broiling it because if you don't want to fry it in grease, if you click broil in the oven, mm -hmm. it'll make it like crispy like you fried it. Like an air fryer almost? Mm -hmm. Okay. Shout out to the air fryers, man. The air fryers be Shout out to them for <laughs> sure. I love the air fryer. When I put some salmon in, I be like, damn, I fried it. Right. Like, this is fried. It's fried. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fried. All right, all right. So, you know, I like to do a little activity with my guests now, you know, to keep it kind of interesting and fun. We've been talking a lot about food. Mm -hmm. So... I guess I already know where you're gonna go with this since we've been talking about it, but I did this with another guest. It's a bracket, right? Mm -hmm. And this bracket is gonna be the best cultures. Like what food has the best culture, right? I already filled mine out, so I want you to fill yours out and see what is your favorite type of food, all right? Okay. I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to fill it out. You know how the bracket works, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And we're gonna compare and see who, who got what. Definitely number one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this was tough. I ain't gonna lie. This was very hard for me to do. I keep going. Oh, I just put the number verse like. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you put it in order. I definitely put it in so order. I asked you if you knew how to bracket work, but it's cool. We can do it that way. All right. So this was mine. This is kind of how I did it. So we did first Asian food versus Mexican food. I went with Asian food over Mexican. Really? So yeah, it looks like Mexican is over Asian for you. Definitely, I love a, a fajita. So then we had American versus Italian. I went with American. I feel like Italian is good, but it's kind of limited a little bit. It's, I feel like Italian food is like only pastas and right. pizza. Yeah. That's so limited. Pasta and <laughs> Like tomato sauce, basically. Right, tomato and noodles. Noodles, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> well, you went with Italian over American, though. Definitely. If you had a choice between wings mm -hmm. or lasagna. Yeah, definitely wings. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Caribbean food versus Indian food. Caribbean, for sure. Yeah, I went with Caribbean, too. Indian was number two for you? No, Indian was like towards the end. Yeah, but you put, it says Car Caribbean number one, Indian number two, right? Oh, that was a lie. The numbers got mixed up. Indian needs to be last. For real? You don't like Indian food? <laughs> I do. It's a place out here called Naan, yeah, and I love yeah. getting like their um, curry lamb okay. and like their bowl. Like mm -hmm. that is so good. Yeah. I just recently started eating Indian food. It's pretty good. They got some spicy food, and it's pretty good. I love spicy food. You do? If it has a spice to it, I'm going to eat it. You got Mediterranean. Oh, I love African to food. Mediterranean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the hummus. Okay. Um, I'll get like the pita bowl and it'll be like mm -hmm. grilled chicken, okay. um, feta cheese, brown rice, um, peppers, um, a Greek sauce, yeah. roasted tomatoes, like that type of vibe. They food don't really seem like I have a lot of seasoning though. It actually does. Yeah. I had a Gre I had a Greek bowl yesterday and it was like I felt so bad because like this was like the second time I went there mm -hmm. in two days. I was like, oh my god, like. <laughs> I don't want to get sick of it, but this food is so good, so I'm oh, going to yeah. get my lunch there. <laughs> All right. And then, so African food. See, I got to get more on the African food. I don't be eating enough of that. Have you tried fufu? Mm -mm. 
I it's, saw that was a trend going it's on. It's definitely like an acquired taste. So okay. when I first tried fufu, I I was chewing it, mm -hmm. but somebody told me you gotta take the dough, dip it in the salt, and then just swallow it. Oh really? Yeah, like you can't chew it or you're gonna be disgusted. Really? So when I started like going, when the second time I went, I you know I dipped it in the sauce mm -hmm. and then I just swallowed it. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was definitely a different vibe. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've had the 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 jollof rice, I believe. It oh, was. the jollof pretty, rice is good. Pretty good. Pretty definitely good. Definitely good. Since Caribbean is number one, I guess we don't have to go through the whole thing. But Asian food was number one for me. But my my last two was Asian versus Caribbean, so it was pretty mm -hmm. close. It was pretty close. Cool. Yeah, jerk chicken. I love. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love jerk chicken. I'm going to get some when I leave here. For real? You gonna go to Mangoes? Definitely going to Mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had this place. It's not real Jamaican food, but Chef Rob's. You ever been there? Mm -mm. In Sandy Springs, I think it's closed now, but their food was good. They had the the um, the jerk chicken breast Ooh. with the coconut rice. Ooh, I love coconut milk. Coconut milk. Mhm. Mm you like cooking with it, or you just? I like love coconut? cooking with it. Like when I make homemade rice and peas, mm -hmm. or like rice and beans, mm -hmm. I use coconut milk. Okay. And replace gotcha. the water. Yeah. See, I don't like. I can't. Well, I guess milk ain't coconut milk ain't real milk, but I can't do a lot of dairy. Oh yeah, I hate dairy, like, cause I'm lactose. So the mm -hmm. moment I eat cheese or milk, yeah, it's just over with. <laughs> it's just over with. <laughs> All right, so how can people get in contact with you if they want to get on your meal prep plan? If they want you to, you know, chef up something for them, how they get in contact with you? So my website is mealsbyjess.dantedabody.com, mm -hmm. or you can follow me at Instagram at mealsbychefjess, mm -hmm. and I have everything, any questions you have is all on my Instagram. Okay, got you. So if I if I wanted to be your client and I said, you know, I looked at your menu and you got a, I'm sure you have a pretty extensive menu, mm -hmm. but it's something that's not on there. Do I need to tell you like what I want in it or do you, do I just let you do your thing? Definitely. I have a few clients that have order all customized meals. So whatever, for instance, I don't have spaghetti on my website, but mm -hmm. I have a lady that orders spaghetti. She orders Caribbean food and she literally just texts me mm -hmm. and then I cook it to like her, what mm -hmm. she needs. Like she's on a strict diet plan. So she'll tell me, I need this many macros. Mm -hmm. I need to be consuming this amount of calories and I'll just prep it to order. Right, right. And you mentioned Dante. We got Dante in the building. Dante over there. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> My boy in the building. So how does you know how does you guys' relationship work? You know, obviously he's in the you know the fitness world, mm -hmm. and you're in the meal prep or meal I guess meal world, food mm -hmm. world, food world. So how does that um you know how does that blend together? Obviously it goes together, but do you guys feel like y'all work well together? We definitely work really good together. It mm -hmm. actually brought us closer. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people he consult online about fitness mm -hmm. um, goals and journeys. He literally just send them to me and I meal prep for him. Yeah. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Yeah, you got to bring your clients. <laughs> yeah, definitely he brings a lot of my clients in. Okay, all right. So when you see like, you know, these stars like, I don't know, like Michael B. Jordan or whatever, mm -hmm. and they have these crazy bodies that's just mm -hmm. like, pause on that pause but they be having these crazy like you know just looking jack buff or whatever mm -hmm. do you think that you can create a meal plan to make somebody look like that oh definitely you think so definitely like um if i showed y'all before pictures of dante like mm -hmm. i've definitely been cooking for him for like six years and i've watched his body transform from like home cooked meals mm -hmm. like he's been on a weight gain journey for years and he's like mm -hmm. it's showing like right, right. from home cooked meals so what's the best way? Of course, you know, you're going to cut out all the processed sugar and all mm -hmm. of that. But what should you gear, gear your meal towards? Should you have mostly protein and then little carbs, maybe some vegetables? To gain weight? To, yeah. Definitely to gain weight, you definitely need to up your carbs, but healthy carbs. So healthy I've carbs. definitely learned um, healthy carbs versus, like, bad carbs. So, mm -hmm. like, quinoa, um, red potatoes, mm -hmm. like, stuff like that. Brown rice is definitely healthy carbs versus, okay. like. I love brown rice. I love brown rice too. I actually just started eating brown rice. Mm -hmm. Like it's really good. It's definitely an acquired taste. I can see how someone hates brown rice versus like white rice. Mm, really? Yeah, it's definitely a different taste. Oh, okay. I guess it's because it's a little more grainy, but it's like, I guess mm -hmm. it's healthier for you. So. And I love kiwi. I actually just started eating kiwi. <laughs> I do so many different meals with kiwi. Mm -hmm. Do like a kiwi stir fry, mm -hmm. like a kiwi black bean bowl. Yeah. It's just a lot of, you really like, when you tap into your health, you really could just, you know, figure out what works for you mm -hmm. and just, you know, yeah. learn how to work with it. How do you think, of course, you know, being healthy is important, but do you feel like you have to, like, do you have to cut out everything? Do you feel like cheat meals are a positive thing? Do you feel like they have a place in your diet? Like 
I definitely feel like everyone is allowed to have one cheat meal out the week. Cause you, I just never want to deprive myself. Yeah. I never want to feel like I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so I feel like if you're on track, like consistently, you can definitely afford one day where you like, F it. Like, right. I want some hot wings and fries with lemon pepper sprinkles, right. period. It's okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm mad. You, I'm just mad that you said that about Chick Fil A, though, because Chick Fil A is my favorite fast food. Uh, but they be getting, you know, they be getting it right. Process. Just remember, every yeah. time you go, process. Very, very processed. Very processed. <laughs> so, what about steak? Are you a big steak person? So, I actually don't eat red meat or pork, and oh, okay. I haven't eaten red meat or pork for like the last four years. Mm -hmm. Like before, I used to love a good grilled steak with. Yeah some onions, like a nice ribeye, mm -hmm. medium well, with some mushrooms and onions. But I haven't eaten in four years. I tried eating a piece of bacon like a month ago and it just ripped my stomach really? up. I was like, oh One my God. I, yes, it was Dang. literally, I, I ate a piece and it just, mm -hmm. it just I can't do it. <laughs> See, I never was a big steak person. I still don't really eat steak. I used to love steak. I had my first steak probably like four or five years ago. Really? Mm-hmm. I just always been chicken, like chicken. chicken. I used to be a chicken eater too, but chicken. I'm just so seafood now, like yeah. salmon, shrimp, fish. Mm -hmm. I love crab, crab legs. Yeah. You want to know what turned me off from seafood? I still would eat salmon, and fish every now and then, but I remember one time because my family we're from Virginia, right? Mm -hmm. So I went to Virginia one time. I was at my aunt's house, <clears throat> and you know they got the crabs, mm -hmm. but it's not like crab legs. It wasn't like fried the blue crab. crabs. It was a whole crab, and they would just put the whole crab on the table, rip the head off, and I'm just like, you know, I'm good. That's they're... how it is in Louisiana. Like, before <laughs> I moved to Atlanta, I was so used to, like, blue crabs, right. or, like, the whole crab, you yeah. break the leg, the claw, right. open the inside. Yeah. But out here, everybody's so big on crab legs, Leg, so just yeah. snap it, eat it. I'm like, I, I don't want to eat it because it's looking at me. Like, it still got the eyes and stuff. <laughs> I like seeing the eyes. I do. It's like, oh, you was real at one point Yeah, time. you're real. I'm just like, you know what? I'm good on the seafood. Maybe some salmon every now and then. <clears throat> That's how I feel about pork. Okay. Like, when I look at a pig, I mm -hmm. be like, oh, my God. Like, really? you be shitting, peeing. <laughs> like, everything be shitting. You up and eat bacon, yeah. ham. What about turkey bacon? You like turkey bacon? I do like turkey bacon. Okay. It has to be uncured, though. Uncured. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, you know, Definitely still in the family a little bit. Still in the family. Okay. Hmm. So about these smoothies now, like I said, I've been trying to do a little bit more smoothies. How, what's the way to make the best smoothie? Like what base do you use? Like coconut water? Should I just use? So coconut water? water is the best base. Like for me, I love using coconut water. My favorite smoothie is coconut water as the base. I put strawberries, pineapples, and bananas. Mm. Mix it up. You don't even have to add sugar, no mm -hmm. sweetener. It's just really? organically sweet. You do put protein in it too? I do put protein. I recently just started adding protein to mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try that. I don't like bananas though. That's one thing. I'm, a, I'm kind of a picky eater. You like papayas or like, mm, do I like papayas? plantains? Mm -mm. I don't like a lot of melons either. Like I don't like watermelon. Oh, really? I don't like watermelon. I don't like honeydew. None See, of that. I like watermelon like as the actual fruit, but like watermelon juice. Yeah, yeah, I mm -hmm. like it. Okay, that's why I'm going to ask you. What's the best? Like, what's the best seasoning? Seasoning? Like Lowry's. Like, what's the best one? Mine, of course, but mine. we haven't okay. dropped that yet. So uh, you, oh, you got mine some after, I have seasons on the way. I have a okay. uh, jerk seasoning, a lemon pepper, mm. and a Cajun seasoning. Mm, okay. But um, before I started using my own seasonings, I was definitely using like Obey and garlic. Obey, okay. And I was like mixing them too. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I be just putting anything together. I be using paprika, cumin, you know, a little bit of the uh, the Goya stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I be mixing it up. And a lot of people think you can't eat food that is seasoned. Like, it's so many seasonings that don't have salt in right, it that right. you can really just season it. And it mm. just, it tastes so much better than having all that sodium. Mm. Do you think, um, I've been trying to do the pink Himalayan salt. Do you think that's a real difference between that and the iodized salt, like the regular one? It's salt? definitely a difference. I actually just started cooking with the uh, pink salt. Yeah. It's definitely a difference. Um, it tastes fresher, yeah. if that makes sense. Like, it definitely tastes fresher with the pink salt. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. I can't tell the difference, but I'm just not. A, I'm. I'm not a foodie. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh not, yeah, I'm, I'm a foodie. I'm, like I'm not, whatever's been seasoned, I can tell you exactly what's in for it. Real? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How long did that take to develop that? I've been that like time? that my whole life. For real? Mm -hmm. Dang. Like I've been cooking my entire life. For real. You just love it, huh? I love it. 
Dang. So if you weren't cooking, what you think you'd be doing? Um, if I wasn't cooking, I definitely would have tapped into like the acting world. Okay. I used to do a lot of background talent mm -hmm. uh, for different movies and shows. Okay. But when I really locked into like, oh, this is my passion for cooking, I just been focusing on this. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm definitely, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, try it out, try to get some meals from you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. I should have brought you something today. Yeah, you should have. That would have <laughs> been good. That would have been good. But I'm going to think, I'm going to think, because I want to look at your menu. Mm -hmm. Can we do that real quick? I'm going to look at your menu oh, real yeah. quick. You said it's, uh, it's on your IG? Mm -hmm. Or you can type in uh, mealsbyjess.com. Oh, let's see what you got on here. Got everything. We got oxtails. We have chicken pasta, shrimp pasta. Okay, all right. Build your right. own bowl. We have salmon, roasted chicken. Online ordering. Let me see what you got up here. Got it all. All right, you got the charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you say it? So you be doing catering and stuff too? I do. I do um, private dinners. Private like dinners? from time okay. to time. If someone asks me, I, uh, I specialize in a meal prep, but if someone asks me to do like a private dinner for two, like mm -hmm. date night, then I'll do it. Okay. All right, grilled cheese board, Simply Southern board. Okay, all right, all right. Wait, that is not my website. I don't know what you're looking at. You said meals by Jess, right? Let me see. This ain't it? Oh, that, oh my God, that is an insult. That is not that. My bad, it's meals by Jess, whoever you are, you, just an insult, my fault. That looks so unseasoned. It's the other Jess, other meals by Jess, you need to get it together. Here we go, home okay. of the Creole. Okay, all right, all right, all right. My bad, my bad. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got in here. We got some oxtail bowls. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. This look pretty good. Them oxtails don't play. Shrimp pasta, chicken pasta. Okay. Let's see what you got for breakfast. Turkey bacon. This is not turkey bacon. That is definitely turkey That's bacon. That's not turkey. That's real bacon. That's turkey bacon. Turkey bacon. Real bacon not... have all that fat around it. It just looks screaming arteries, clogged arteries. <laughs> okay, protein waffles. So oh this my God, I love protein waffles. Okay. We got some breakfast potatoes, mm -hmm. egg muffins yeah. that are stuffed with bell peppers, onions, and spinach. Oh. Mm -hmm. this, this looks good, I'm not gonna lie. The meat, this, is this meatball here? Yes, oh my God, everyone loves the garlic herb uh, turkey. And it's turkey meatballs, no red meat. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, this this looks good. All of this look good. Okay, period. Dang, you got the spaghetti on here. What is this, this lamb chop? What is this? Lamb chop. Lamb chop, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna definitely place my order with you, and I wanna, I wanna see what this tastes like. Okay. And we're gonna do, you know, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do a follow up, and we're gonna see what these meals like, and we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna let people know what it is. Yeah. So you know, I appreciate you pulling up. Thanks it's, for having me. Yeah, for sure. So you got, you got seasonings coming. You seasonings got more cookbooks coming. coming. I what have else? two cookbooks on the website. I have um, two more cookbooks on the way that will be dropping um, next month. Okay. And I'm just, I'm just, ex I'm loving the journey that I'm on. Like, yeah, yeah, it's this, just, I'm always thinking of new ways. What can I do with food? So right, right now is the seasonings and cookbooks. All right. Yeah. This is definitely dope. You know, definitely going to support whatever you're doing. Thanks. And you know, just like I told Dante, and like I tell everybody, anytime you want to pull up, you got something else dropping, you want to let us know about it, feel free to come by and talk about it. All right. All right. And I appreciate you. And that's a wrap. Thanks. Hey.